Okay, I'm gonna say it. I don't care. She's wonderful! Hey! What's up, my peoples? MGo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the DC Comics Multiverse Wonder Woman movie, Wonder Woman! So here we are, and there she is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As usual, you got the Wonder Woman movie back there in the background. You got Gal Gadot there as Wonder Woman. Her name is Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, Mulher Maravilla, and Mulher Maravilla, ha! Feel... Ah, on this side of the box, eyes up here, you have that same image there of Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. There's no bio, it's just, she's Wonder Woman. That's all you need to know. That's all you freaking need to know. <laughs> on this side of the box, you have the Wonder Woman logo, DC Comics Multiverse, DC Comics Multiverse, Wonder Woman logo, words and things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and if you collect all the figures, you can build Ares, the God of War, and that's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have Wonder Woman! So let's get in close here so we can take a look at the head sculpt. I think this is the best head sculpt out of all of them. In my opinion anyway, I think this is definitely the best, the best head sculpt of them all. Again, not a dead-on Gal Gadot, but still, I, th I think this is the, the, the best attempt <laughs> at one so far. You got the gold right there for a tiara, got her lipstick. Uh, the hair is very nicely molded and painted with the lights and the darks there. Her hair is a nice bendy material here, so it will move out of the way, which is very nice. The suit, I mean, it's Wonder Woman's suit. We know what it looks like by now. But very nicely done with the gold and the reds and the blues and the silvers and all that good stuff. She's got her lasso right there and her boots for kicking all kinds of Wonder Butt for Wonder Butt kicking. On the back. Very nice done. Now, articulation-wise, the head feels like it's on a ball joint, but you don't get too much wiggly-waggly due to the hair. Uh, again, the hair is that soft material, so you can actually get her to turn her head all the way around. You can get her get all exorcist on you if you want. Um, can't really look up. She can look down a little bit. Arms can do a full 360 in and out. You got a bicep swivel. Slightly under 90 degrees of bend there at the elbow. You also do have a swivel at the form. You have a swivel at the wrist. You have a waist swivel. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. That's all you're going to get. You got a thigh swivel. 90 degrees of bend there at the knees. And the feet can move up and they can move down. So there you go. As you can see, the straps there are that soft plastic. She has her lasso here, which you can remove if you want to. This is just pegged in right here. It's pegged in pretty secure, but it's pegged in. And you can remove the lasso if you want to, if you want her holding it. You can just leave it there, holstered at her side. Just peg that back on. That stays there nice and secure-like. And she does also include some other accessories. She does include her sword. Which is the same sword that came with the uh, the robed version. Done in the gold on the silver. And again, very nicely done. So you can have her holding her sword. Like so. And if you don't want her holding her sword, you can just take it and slide it through right there. She can just have that at her side if you wish. But I like my warriors holding their weapons. So there you go. And she does also include, uh, come down a little bit here, she does also include her shield, which is very nicely done, done in a uh, kind of a dull silver and a very dull gold here. It's kind of like dull accents there. It looks quite nice. Again, just kind of looks, you know, just weathered. Like it's been through a couple scraps. You got the straps here on the back, which are a softish plastic. The shield itself, as you can see, has a little bit of bend to it. And you can take this. And just slide this over her arm like that. You can't really get her to hold on to this to this piece right here. So what I do is I just kind of push her hand past it, and that stays on. I mean, that stays on dead solid. That's not going anywhere. So you got her shield right there. Unfortunately, you can't store the shield on her back in any way. That would have been cool if you could be able to do that, but now you can't do it. But still, she looks cool there with her sword and her shield. 
So then, yeah, I have that. Oh, and for a comparison, here it is with the Batman v Superman multiverse figure. And uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely the better one. <laughs> definitely. Um, again, molding wise, there are molding differences. This isn't the, the same body, just with a different head. Uh, the upper torso is a different mold. The arms, eh, maybe. The upper arms. I think I think the arms are different molds as well. I can't really tell. It seems like there are some minor, minor differences in the molding. Um, the lower body, again, maybe some minor differences. I'm not sure if they're the same mold or not. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, but all in all, though, I still do think this, this is the much better version. Definitely better head sculpt than that one, um, in my opinion. And we'll bring in the rest of the crew here. Let's see if we can get them all in frame. We'll try. Bring in Steve Trevor. Bring in Wonder Woman here with her Wonder Robe. Right there. And Diana. Hopefully she won't fall over. The Queen. And... Uh, Menelope. Let's see if we can get her in the background there. Don't knock anybody over, Menelope. There you go. <laughs> and we'll bring in Aries and just sit him back here. And there you go. There you have your DC Motivus Wonder Woman figures right there in all their glory. So there you go. And hey, hey, you stay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so there you have that. Now, she does also include another accessories for Ares. You get a, uh, a shield, a shield for Ares here. And um, I love this shield. This shield looks really, really cool. Um, again, done in that silver and that metallic blue. It looks really, really nice when the light hits it. That blue just really glows. And uh, very nicely done shield. You can see it's made of that, again, that, you know, soft, bendy plastic here as well as the straps. So we can get Ares in here and we can just slide that over his arm. Again, you can't really... I've tried to get him to actually hold on to that, but it's just, it's more trouble than it's worth, so I just kind of slide his hand right past it, right there, and he holds that nice and solidly, so, there you go, now Ares has a shield of his own, there you have Ares, there you have the Woman of Wonder, and they're ready to do battle, there you go. They're pretty decent figures. I mean, these multiverse figures aren't the greatest things ever. I mean, these things are uh, $20 a piece. So, I mean, in total, if you buy all six figures, you're spending, what, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120 plus tax for all of these figures. Are they worth that much? Eh, you know, as action figures go, they are pretty basic. They're nothing all that outstanding. Um, they definitely could be better in some places than others. Um, but for all, you know, for, for what it's worth, I mean, they're still decent figures, and I do enjoy them nonetheless. So if you would like some Wonder Woman figures of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Wonder Woman playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the DC Comics Multiverse Wonder Woman movie Wonder Woman, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, boom in your face! <laughs> ah, no one can defeat the God of War! Wait right there, Ares. Wait. I think I'm on the wrong set. Hmm.